What's up NZers and welcome back to another reaction video. Today we're going to be checking out something uh, that if you haven't seen our Muhammad Ali reaction then I suggest you go and watch that and if you want to see the full version it's over on Patreon. And obviously we don't have the kids with us today because I think this one probably just knowing a little bit about Mike Tyson and his life and his background story um, I don't think it's that suitable for the kids. Okay. But well I don't know anything about his life or his background story but I'll... Yeah so today we're going to check out... Well because on our Muhammad Ali video everybody said you need to check out Tyson. Okay. In his prime, he's probably the greatest boxer of all time. So, yeah, okay. we can do a little comparison today. Yeah. Anyway, let's check it out. Mike Tyson, all the knockouts and possibly intimidating. Ooh. He was the most amazing thing you would ever see. He was this blur in the ring that just came in and destroyed. And he thought he was just a bully. That's all it was. He, oh. And it worked. He was wow. like the human pit bull. Because Mike Tyson, who described as 5'11", looks closer to 5'10", because of the squarishness of his build. Wow. Oh, oh, wow. Wow. The Mercedes inside a single oh. one. And the question that most of the ring signers are asking is can he do the same thing again? Well, I'm, I'm not trying to I'm pulling dirt hard bones to get together. His life was very, very sad. Very poor kid, lived in Brownsville, lived in a rough neighborhood. He stopped going to school around age seven. He was constantly getting evicted. His mother would <laughs> different kinds of men in order to keep a roof over their heads. While Mike was in the bed, like inches from him, his mother had with a man. Got into robbing Whoa. when you were seven. You really had no supervision. Mike Tyson was sent to the Tryon Youth Correctional Facility in upstate New York after growing up as a mother and predator on the streets of Brooklyn. At 12, Tyson was a tough young mother. I got into trouble, and I went away to this um, dormitory upstate New York, and then I met a gentleman named Bobby Stewart was a boxer. Tyson told Stewart that he wanted to learn how to box. Stewart then brought Tyson to a gym above the police station in Catskill, New York, to meet Castanada, who was a legendary fight manager and a legendary trainer and a magnificent man. He taught Mike from the age of 13 to the age of 19 how to control his emotions. We saw Mike Tyson's professional That's a big one. He's a lot bigger than uh, Muhammad Ali. In watching the early Mike Tyson fights, he seems to be like an unstoppable force. Uniquely devastating. What year was this? Uniquely offensive. Like early 90s? Oh, okay. Late 80s? Whoa. This boy is tough. Whoa. Wow. Oh. He's a machine. Tyson shrugs almost as if disappointed that the fight is over so quick. Costi Mato had a tremendous influence on Mike Tyson. Met this white guy, he was strange, a little odd, he started saying things like, why wow, you'd be the greatest fight I ever lived. Oh my goodness. Oh. Oh. Hanging. I think so. That's enough. When Customado trained you, you were fierce. That's a see, Ain't no way he's gonna hit you that, right? And remember, it's always good to throw the punch where you could hit him, they can't hit you. That's what the science of boxing is all about. He's wearing the white trunks with green trim. He is undefeated in three professional bouts, all victories, all knockouts. Ladies and gentlemen, a big hand for Mike Tyson. You would get into the ring and people were scared. Were you channeling the anger that you had from your childhood? I think a lot of it had to do with that. No. And I realized every fight was um, a decision. Uh, if I'm going to go back this guy doesn't to the do. <laughs> So fast. Yes, it is. I don't believe it. That's well inside a minute. Wow. What the heck? He just absorbed everything that Cus had to teach him. You know, the head movement, throwing the punches with with bad intent. Wow. Wow. Cus took us to the gym and pointed to the young boy who was hitting the heavy bag very ferociously and said that's Mike Tyson. Not only is he here, but he will undoubtedly go on to become the youngest heavyweight champion in history. I'm excited about him. He looks like an incredible Youngest ever. Yeah, I'm glad I'm not Michael Jack Johnson. Oh. Boom. Oh, body shot. Down he goes. So let's You hardly ever see that. Yeah. He looked like a different planet of ability. Oh, wow. Oh, the damage. I'll take 
say, uh, Michael Jack Johnson earned his money the hard way tonight. Well, there's not much to say about that knockout except to watch. But he was far more than the big puncher. He's a very good boxer. It's a big win to let everybody know that Donnie Long is back. Is this that same guy again? Hmm. Forget what the, the press release is saying. He's only five foot ten. Some would have you believe he's six foot. Wow. He is not wow. a big heavyweight. He's only a kid. He had his body that could really fool you. Oh, oh man. Gosh. He was still a kid who had to develop. Left hook. Good night. Good night. Okay, He's so fast too. So powerful in that one shot. Seven inside the first round. I want to do something that no fight ever done. Jack Dempsey broke people eye sockets. You know, that to me, man, that's that's a high. You know, you have to see that guy did this. When he was being trained by Customaro, he was he was living the complete total existence of a man hell bent on becoming a world champion. The uh, hope that Cuscade Mike is not only in the ring, but out of the ring. Being part of Customato's family was therapeutic. He gave him direction, he gave him order, he gave him care, loving. Tyson's teens were spent in the D'Amato family. Cus eventually adopted him. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. That's awesome. So it was, it was family. Yeah. It wasn't just like a business thing. But anybody can take that. Is the limit of Sterling Benjamin's endurance to have a sick drama? Yo! Well, I'm going on your feet. Keep holding your back. Is it how you can have that big hit? It is the hardest you're Yeah, it's on my little guy, man. But it's getting harder and harder. <laughs> Trust me, we've been hit. Who wants anything to do with him? I mean, no fighter wants to get run over by a truck. Mm. 10 and 0, 10 knockouts. Wow. About you is this ability you have seven to inside the first round opponents. a lot of them seem to have been beaten before they got in the ring almost or when they caught your eye when they got so much head movement oh. Oh, oh my jaw Mike Tyson when the bell rings he conducts himself as if someone stole something from him. So yeah yeah crazy <laughs> style of bobbing and weaving and ripping sure. ridiculous power and speed punching Oh my That's, goodness. Uh, yeah, it's just a powerful punch, eh? Like, look at him. He's like a silverback gorilla. Yeah. He's just like so yeah. unbelievably. Like, if you could custom design a guy to, to make a boxing champion, it pretty much look exactly like him. Exactly. Huh? Like the perfect package. But he was far more than a big punch. He was a very good boxer. He could jab, he could move, as well as punch. So he was virtually the complete article. And he had that knockout punch in both hands. And of course, when anybody goes to see heavyweight boxing, that's what they want to see. They want to see people get knocked out. And God forbid, if anything happened to cut, we're all professionals and we're going to continue. And the outcome is going to be the same. Then in 1985, Customato died. So he seems like my father. I never really had a father figure. The late and legendary trainer Customato was the only real father figure Mike Tyson ever knew. The death of Customato was clearly a huge issue. Well, when Customato died, I think is when it all starts really going to crack for Tyson. What led him to success was having a very strict mentor slash coach, Customato. Fight number 13 for Mike Tyson. We're back in Latham. It's the same Mike Tyson, it is not the same count. This is his second fight since the tragic death of Castanato on the 4th of November. Oh, he's shaky. Whoa. He's so shaky, and we're only in round one. And this is a good fighter. I can hardly believe what I'm seeing. As the left hook. That was oh. quick. That was so quick. Tyson is 13 and 0. All of his victories coming by knockout, and no bout has gone past the fourth round. Every every fight is a 30 second assault. Those mm -hmm. 80s <laughs> fights with Tyson, where he would just show up and look at people and they would melt. If you blink in the first round, you'll probably miss a Mike Tyson fight. Wow. wow, he like glided over the top of him. He's so good. Wow, he's so good. Champion Mike Tyson. He's out. <laughs> oh, that guy. Oh, oh my gosh. I just Whoa, my... look at him bobbing and weaving. Guy can't even touch him. 
Oh. Lights out. He's so good. Oh. That would suck. Oh my gosh. Are your teeth okay? Twenty year old Mike Tyson, whose public appeal grows every time he fights. All right. The scariest fighter on earth. Oh, there he goes. Bye. Good night. How about it? Oh, oh, he hit him all the way back down. Is he still gonna keep going? Oh. Oh, <sighs> oh he's so lucky he didn't hit him that fourth time. Oh my gosh, is he out? And he's going to stop the fight. It did not last 20 seconds. You will have a shot. It appears at the heavyweight title. He is the WBC heavyweight champion of the world. When you would enter the ring, already popping sweat. Black shoes, no socks, black trunks. There is no doubt. There is electricity in the crowd. I've got goosebumps on the line. The WBC heavyweight championship. As soon as you step in the ring, yeah, yeah, he is. What were you thinking? He's scared. Yeah. Oh, that's my ass. Yeah. Oh my god. What? Oh my goodness. Absolute destruction. in the heavyweight division, but he's just a boy. No. Oh my god. That's like and brain damage right there. Mike Tyson, age 20, became the youngest 20. champion in boxing. He's 20 years old and he's... managers, cornermen and friends ran to congratulate him. He hasn't even like stopped growing yet. 20 years old, after less than two rounds of the heavyweight champion of the world. But in March of 1988, Jacobs died, and Tyson lost his second father substitute. Wow. Before Jacobs was buried, Don King made his move. Uh, and that created the opening, the opportunity for uh, Don King to move in on a very confused 21-year-old kid. Boxing complex of promoter Don King has become a home away from home for heavyweight champion Mike Tyson. In 1988, once Mike got married, uh, Robin uh, Givens and Ruth, of course, were very interested in taking over Mike's career. They moved into a grand New Jersey mansion. But as soon as she got married, he called up and said, she's Mrs. Mike Tyson, I'm taking over. I want to see all the book, you all the record. I happen to know Robin Givens Tyson. And I just want to leave you with this. I've seen a lot of different things. She is one hell of a fine lady. How does a woman who went to Sarah Lawrence and Harvard Medical School wind up falling in love with a guy who's a graduate of the School of Hard Knocks? God, I want to know too. Youch. No, nope. oh. okay. Another one? Yep. Oh, oh man. How is his face still looking like a face? I know. Green reaching back to deep as core of people. It's reaching deep at them. And they're fighting for me and stuff and all that crap. And then that made it easy for Don King to sneak in. And <laughs> <laughs> it was reported to us in New York that Robin and okay. Ruth were at the bank, already claiming Mike's account. No one can challenge Mike Tyson right now. You can take anybody out, but... Oh, man. Wow, wow. They just don't get a chance no, to even fight got back. No idea what day it is. <laughs> Zero. It was laying in the front yard, loose. Wow. And he was on the steps like this with a heavyweight belt. <laughs> What? <laughs> what? Is that old mate? Mm. Joe Rogan. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
money <laughs> and temptation. Four and a half million on automobiles and motorcycles. One scratched your Rolls Royce and told cops to keep it. Pretty much, he was on coke all the f time. He would walk around with a brick of coke as his personal stash. Tyson reverted back wow. to what he thought he was at heart, which was just like this dirty ghetto person that just wanted to have. Ladies and gentlemen. The undefeated man who brings the dreams, Michael Oh, I thought that was him. I was like, what? He looks different. He's undefeated too. So this is undefeated versus the undefeated. The sound that you hear is Mike Tyson about to make his way in, I believe. The sound is definitely wow, here. A lot of people. Mm -hmm. trying to yell over it. All I can say is... The heavyweight champion is about to make his appearance in the ring. <laughs> Did he come out to that song? <laughs> I can feel it in the air tonight. Oh, uh, yeah. The drum. Yeah. He's worked up a full sweat. I want to tell you the electricity of this What a legend if he came out to that song. Now, yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, Trump Plaza. Yeah. Yeah, he's, he's a longtime fight fan. Oh, wow. He's always at UFC and stuff. There it goes. Did it? Did the fight just start? Was that it? I don't think you get up from this. Mike Tyson's laying flat on his back. It's all over. Mike Tyson has won it. Mike's almost won the pro. A dramatic first fight in the history of the world. Mike Tyson has won the first round. How many people could handle that? I mean, the money, the fame at that age, you're the champion, the baddest man alive. It's my belief. Mike really turned into the Mike we know today as his marriage to Robin Gibbons came apart. So did he. In a nationally televised interview, Robin Gibbons told Barbara Walters that Tyson was a manic depressant. He gets out of control, um, throwing, screaming. A charge that would later prove groundless. He shakes, he pushes, he, um, he swings. But when I look back at it now, I can't believe I sat there and didn't say anything. The soap opera marriage of boxing champ Mike Tyson and actress Robin Gibbons is coming to an end. So she brought a guy home to see her in the mine mansion in my car that I'm not allowed to be at. You want to know who it is? Brad Pitt. What? Brad been smoking a joint. He must have been drinking something because he was real close to me in the car. He had no idea. He didn't see me. But then when he got out the car, he saw me. Oh, sh Tyson's in Japan to defend his heavyweight boxing title against Wow. Don't know that. Within two hours of the champion's arrival here, Tyson Mania was in full cry. I'll leave it at this. He clearly was very distracted coming into the fight. Stressed out beyond comprehension. I wonder why that is. He was 37 and 0 at that particular moment in time. He was fierce. He was menacing. Before the fight, rumors had swirled about Tyson's mental and physical state. He'd been knocked down and sparring. He stopped moving his head. He began to accept oh. punches. He started to jab less. You could see that, that under Don King, not only did his character and moral decline and erode, his boxing technique began to decline and erode. You begin to file through your memory for the biggest upset in heavyweight championship fight history. Douglas insists that he's going to shock the world in this fight. If he should upset Mike Tyson, it would make the shocks in Eastern Europe seem like local ward politics. Ooh. Oh. Oh, wow. Like when you're fighting at the real top level of the sport. Normally it's him doing all that. Yeah. Bro, he's just sitting there taking it. They had neglected to bring a standard piece of equipment called an end swell, an ice cold steel press used to reduce the swelling around the eyes of a battered fighter. They were trying to put icy water into a, a latex glove to hold against his eye. And, and suddenly it became clear they didn't have a cut man, they didn't have any equipment. Mike Tyson what? had actually won the fight in the eighth round when he dropped Buster Douglas, and that count was excessively long. Oh, Ooh. so he got him in the end.
Oh, the should have been counted out. He should have been counted out. Bill Wadley, let's see what Mike can do to finish. He won the fight there. Yeah. He should have. Mm -hmm. He didn't get up in time. Far out. Whoa. It was the beginning of the end oh, of Mike Tyson, the Mike Tyson that we knew. Hey, Oh, I lost it. So at the peak of your career, you were convicted and sent to prison for rape. Yeah. But you, you write and you talk about it in the Broadway show that you, you did not do. And he's dumb. You saw what Robin Givens got out of him. He's someone that... He has so much money, he's always throwing it around. I might as well get a piece of it. You know, that's how people looked at it. Serving a six-year term at the Indiana Youth Center, Tyson was back in the setting he knew all too well. Everything his adopted father, Customato, had tried to prevent had come true under the tutelage of Don King. Mm. They destroyed the greatest fighter I've ever seen. The debt is paid, the prison term over. Three years ago tomorrow, Mike Tyson entered an Indiana penitentiary Tyson went straight into training, and the fights came back. Yes, Tyson is back, and with him comes the attention and excitement that only a superstar can generate. Through all the upheaval, Tyson remained the sport's most famous and infamous figure, and its biggest box office draw. Now, if the former champion is to climb the mountain one more time, that journey must be. Ooh, does he make it back? Remember, Ali did that. Mm. Had a downfall. Yeah. Got yeah. stood down for not getting drafted. Came back and won it. Ooh. One of them uppercuts. The convict was still a draw. His very first fight after release won him $25 million. Whoa. No father figure. Good enough. I didn't want most of my doing for free, you know, but um, yeah, I, I had fun with drugs. He fought on coke. He used a fake dick, a fake dick, to pass drug tests. Cocaine is a hell of a drug. Mike what? Tyson. Mike Tyson. Mike Tyson. All right. And here he is. The walking powerhouse, Mike Tyson, who says his objective simply is to throw punches at all times. A very loose looking Bruce Selden, a very serious looking. Mm. A unified championship again when I beat Bruce Sheldon. I fought him and beat him in the one round knockout. And then I had two belts on my roof. Oh, that's the guy that beat him. Beat him. I really thought I was somebody special, man, because no one's ever done that, not even Muhammad Ali. And then, um, once again, I let everything go, go away, and I believed I was a god, I believed I was great. I didn't believe I had to train for no matter what, everybody was afraid of me. Apparently, Holyfield kept headbutting him over and over again. The ref didn't do anything about it. And no one warned him, no one gave him, took any points for him. What am I to do? This is my career. I can't continue getting butted like that. I got children to raise, and this guy keeps butting me, trying to cut me and get me stopped on cut. I gotta retaliate. So Tyson got really dazed and confused, and finally snapped. Oh. oh, that's right. Impregnable, and I'm just ferocious. I want your heart. I want to eat his children. Praise be to Allah. Oh, wow! So he was a Muslim, too. Oh, 
there's a lack of a challenge then. There's a lack of a goal. There's no more mountain. So now it's just chaos and women and, and, and then eventually the wheels fall off. I was madly in love with Custom Auto. I became, um, he broke me down and rebuilt me back up and um, I became totally loyal to him. And held bent on becoming the world champion. Remember from the side, you can let that punch go with Stewart has stated categorically that he knows he needs to keep throwing punches. Try to keep Tyson occupied. If he stops throwing, he'll be dead. Bang. Five seconds on. <laughs> Tyson was was exceptional. He, One of the commentators didn't even get a chance to talk. No. <laughs> really, but he, he certainly was in the ring. I mean, he feared nothing. Mike permits himself to be pushed around. He is one person in the ring, and a completely different person when uh, we go out. Look at you, scared man, you ho. Scared of little white dog. Scared of the real man. Oh, you love me, fool. I look at this guy. It's not consensual. We're talking about. Kevin told us this guy's going to be champion as long as he wants to be champion, and it's obvious he wants to continue being champion. What will people remember about Mike Tyson 50 years from now? 50 years? I don't know. I have a most destructive, ferocious fighting machine that God ever created. Yeah, that's what I think. Wow. Oh, yeah, that's right. And then he got the face tattoo. Wow. Wow. I, okay. That was brutal. Every part of that was brutal. Sheesh. Far but, out. Like, I don't think we've, because one thing that, I mean, Muhammad Ali, he has, he had really good speed. He was better. And his power was like still pretty good. In his prime, I think Mike, in my opinion, Mike Tyson was better. Yeah. But I think Mike was faster and stronger. He had the complete package. Yeah. Oh man. It was almost boring to watch because it was not long enough. Yeah. And just... And isn't it insane how we kind of haven't seen anyone like him since? No. Winning the ch world championship at 20 years old. Far out. But yeah, with that with that comes a lot of money. And with a lot of money at a young age, it yep. always comes the same stuff. Yep. The same temptations. Shows the importance of a father figure too. For sure, because when he lost them, mm. the wheels came off. Yeah, it started to go downhill. Yeah. But yeah, I personally, I think that Tyson's probably the greatest of all time from what I've seen. Yeah. Apparently another guy we need to check out is Floyd Mayweather. Okay. So he's apparently he's not as ferocious and brutal with the knockouts and everything. Yeah. But he's just a, like an actual boxer, boxer. You know, just yeah. like wins all the fights. He's fifty and 0, 50, 50 matches under undefeated in his still. entire career. Is he still fighting? Um, I have no idea. I don't know if he is or if he's not. Wow. Yeah, I know. I actually really enjoy watching boxing. Yeah, I know. It's Which, actually quite fun. And yeah. UFC. That guy who took Tyson and was just able to capture like, you know, I think also. Even someone with that kind of physical, like, you know, body, mm. and then also the skill to learn boxing, yeah. also needed to kind of have that, like, trouble, like, the inner, like, anger. They that, needed that, that rage. Yeah, that rage. That, that lightning in a bottle. Yeah. You know, that they could just contain. Yeah, and, and a lot of that comes from trauma. Yeah, yeah, big time. Yeah. Yeah, it sounds like you had a pretty horrible upbringing. Yeah, if you had all daisies and picket fences as an upbringing, you don't have that same thing Drive. to draw. Yeah. Yeah, no, not at all. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, guys, if you enjoyed that one, uh, make sure you smash the like button and let us know down in the comments if there's some other boxers or some other sports stars that we need to check out. Mm -hmm. Some other goats of different sports. Yeah. And uh, yeah, we really enjoyed that one. And if you want to check out any info on our channel, make sure you go down to the description box below. And we love you guys, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye. Bye.